Hi, this is Jake Bautista and we'd like to welcome you to a brand new MetroGuide Realty house tour. Today we are presenting an elegant and spacious 5-bedroom house and lot for sale located here in Ayala, Alabang, Muntinlupa City. This property has a very relaxing and welcoming layout as you'll see in a little while. Let's go! The first thing that you'll notice here is the ample parking space for about 3 vehicles. addition you have an additional area on this side which is excellent as you can see for smaller vehicles like motorcycles and you have access here towards the side of the house towards the service area okay and on the right side of the property you have a spacious landscape garden In terms of the size, this has a 660 square meter lot with a floor area of approximately 546 square meters across three levels. And this is one of the relaxing spots in the house. You have an area here showcasing the facade of the home. In addition, you have this tree at the front of the house which provides plenty of shade. The front of the house is facing west. The back of the house is facing east and you have such a cool cover at the front of the house right here. In addition, this is high quality artificial turf grass. So very easy to maintain. And then you have that landscape design here covering the entire wall all the way to the back of the house. So greenery all around. Now from here, you have access towards the side of the house and right here, let's head on over towards the main entry. From your relaxing front lawn space, you also have access here towards the parking area and in addition, a koi pond water feature space right here. And here you have your main door, made of natural wood. Now welcome to your beautiful home. Upon entering this home, you're welcomed by a warm, bright, and sophisticated ambiance. You have your foyer space here with gorgeous artwork leading towards your living space. You have a high ceiling area, and as you can see, this house is filled with beautiful items. But in terms of the inclusions to be safe, let's assume that none of the furniture here is included. If there are specific items that you're interested in, for example, this sofa set, that can potentially be discussed. But as of now, this house comes unfurnished. Okay? Now, looking at the living room space, the first thing that I notice is that there's so much natural light from the front of the house, the side of the home, and the sliding door leading towards a patio and swimming pool space. Another nice touch is because you have that plant wall on the side of the house, looking out from your living space, you have all that relaxing greenery. Okay. And then from your living space, you have your elegant dining area. Spacious enough to have a table, for 10 people or maybe even more. And I love this setup because right now you have this beautiful artwork right here. But if you have parties and get togethers, you can have this entire area as a buffet table also. From this side, you also have a perspective of your staircase leading to the second floor and then a display area. Of course, it's up to you what personal items you'd like to place here once you purchase this home. 
from your dining area, let's now explore one of the most relaxing areas of the home, your patio and swimming pool space. So let's open up the sliding door. And you have a covered patio area with a ceiling fan. Lots of space as you can see. Easily having a six-seater table here. And then you see once again how the house is integrated and flows so naturally with the dining area as a central hub. Now, from this patio space, you have your swimming pool area right here. So you have a deck space here with cushions as a nice space to relax after a quick swim. And this is a nice area where they currently have some waterproof furniture. And this is a nice touch if you want to play some water basketball. Consistent with what you have at the ground floor. Ah, okay, go. Cool. Consistent with what you have at the front of the house, you also once again have that high quality turf grass here beside the pool. So easy to maintain, but at the same time, it also increases the safety of the area. So there's less risk of uh, slipping, especially if you have small kids. Okay, And the plant wall once again extends all the way here to the back of the house. And here you have a perspective of the home. And I also want to point out for the pool area, you have a pool seat running all throughout the space. So that's very child-friendly. And on this side, you have a bathroom for guests. So there's no need to go in and out of the house. And also, here's another great feature. You have a sauna. So this can accommodate about two to three people. And then here's another perspective. And the pool seat runs to this side with steps going down. So this is excellent once again for young children and even for seniors so that it's easy to go in and out of the pool. And you also have this sort of infinity pool feature with the water falling over the edge here. Okay. And once again, here's another great view of your Lanai space. Set on in. Now we're back here at the dining space. And you have a spacious show kitchen right beside it with sliding doors. So if you want privacy, especially if you're preparing food or you have formal gatherings, you can close this off or leave it open for greater family interaction. And you have a large island countertop right here. Plenty of space for storage all throughout, as you can see. This is a pantry room. And then this leads out to the service area at the side of the house. Here's a quick look. So this leads to the front of the house. You have a driver's quarters here with a bathroom. And then on this side, you have a stainless steel sink space leading towards your staff area and laundry area. Okay, set on in.
This swinging door leads you towards an auxiliary space. So this is where you can have an additional ref and an additional cooking area. And then once again, leading out to the side of the house. Okay. Here's another perspective. From the dining area, you can view every major amenity space in the house. From the pool, the patio space, and the kitchen and living area. And of course, let's now explore the first room in the house. So welcome to the first bedroom in the house. This is currently set up as a TV room entertainment room. But it's up to you how you want to repurpose it if you'd like to get this home. On this side, you have an additional storage room. So there are a lot of personal items there, so we're not going to open that up. But that can also serve as a nice linen closet. And then you have here the bathroom. And this is a full bath. So you can use this really as a bedroom. And this already doubles as the powder room of the house. Let's head on back. And now it's time to explore the second level of the home. Let's go. You have natural wood for the steps, tempered glass here, and natural wood also for the railing. Very well built. I love also the color of the wood. And here you have your second level dead space. So right now, it's currently set up as a multi-purpose area where you have a couch space, but you can easily have a television here on the other side if you'd like. And right now, it's being used as a workspace and study area. Okay. Now, let's take a look first at the second bedroom. Let's go. So the first thing I notice is you have natural wood for the flooring of the second level. Split type air conditioning unit, corner room with large windows, lots of natural light, and space enough for a king or even queen sized bed. And it's currently set up with a nice study desk area. Okay. And then ample storage here on the other side. I also like the high ceiling height for the second level. And right here, you have a shared bathroom with the third bedroom. So this currently is a storage area and this is the shared bathroom. So here's a quick look. Floor to ceiling tiling. Okay. And then let's go straight to the third bedroom. So you have lots of storage space on this side and then ample space for a large bed here and then storage cabinets also. Let's head back out here towards the second floor den area. Here we have the fourth room. Oh, this is a very different setup. So you have an area here. Once again, it's a corner room. You have the two windows on this side. And what I love about this house is almost all the bedrooms have a nice area where you can have a desk space. So even if it's going to be occupied by a student or even an adult who's already working, it's a nice home office space. Okay. So this fourth room has its own bathroom also. What I noticed about the bathrooms here is they are all very well ventilated with large windows. And now it's time to take a look at the primary bedroom. So the first thing you notice is it's the most spacious room in the house and you have these blackout curtains right here but of course when you open this up you have a lot of natural light okay. 
and then this is large enough to have an additional area here as a lounge space currently you have an exercise area here with your treadmill and then massage chair but there's so much that you can do you can have another sofa set right here and then you have additional storage on this side let's now take a look at the walk-in closet space this is huge it wraps around this is a room in itself but we can't go around because there are lots of personal items and to give you an idea you also have access to a balcony to the front of the house here and that's covered by that curtain but i'm just here so that you can appreciate the size of the space okay now on this side you have your bathroom area and this is an excellent design because you have a uh, an area here for the water closet and then on the other side you have your shower shower area okay very well designed with a dual vanity sink space okay. from your spacious master walk-in closet and bedroom we're now back here at the second floor den area and that caps off our quick ayala alabang house tour If you want to know more about this property or visit it in person, just click the description below where you can get in touch with us through our email and number shown there. You can also send us a message and follow us through Instagram and Facebook and also now on TikTok. And if you have a property you'd like to feature to our channel, you can send us an email at metroguiderealty at gmail.com. Once again, my name is Jake Bautista. Thank you for watching and we look forward to bringing you clarity, quality and convenience in finding a great Metro Manila home for you and your family. Contact us today in the email and number shown here to schedule a property viewing. You can also click the description below for the property details. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you and your family a great Metro Manila home.